Welcome back to Landing Zone Home. Today we're at Fort Pickens. This is at Pensacola Beach, Florida. It's part of the National Seashore Park system. It's a beautiful beach here. I'm gonna take you through the two different campgrounds that are here. We're gonna look at the, the beach, of course, a little bit later, so stick around. You're lucky enough to have an annual pass or a senior pass. You get into Fort Pickens free of charge. Else there is a uh, fee for a vehicle. I'm not sure what it is, eight to twelve dollars, something like that. I believe it said $15, so if you have your pass, it will save you uh, a little bit there. So Pensacola Beach is actually a barrier island, and here at the extreme western tip of this barrier island, it's just uh, only about 200 yards wide. On the right is the intercoastal waterway. On the left is the Gulf of Mexico. And when bad storms come through, hurricanes, things of that nature, it's pretty common for this road that you see right here to be washed out. That's one thing you need to understand if you're going to camp at Fort Pickens, especially during hurricane season. If there's any threat whatsoever of any kind of tropical weather coming in, they will close the park and uh, you will have to leave the park. beach here is for the park occupants only and frequently you can come here even in the summer and find few if any people on the beach. There are beaches closer to the campgrounds which will have uh, more activity. I'm gonna do a pan around and show you that there's the Gulf of Mexico, and right there is the intercoastal waterway. So Fort Pickens at this point here is, I think less than 200 yards wide. This is January 30th, so it's middle of the winter. It's probably about 60 degrees today, maybe a little more than that. I think the water temperature will be just about 60 degrees, maybe 58. Quite chilly if you were to get in. But down about a uh, quarter to a half a mile, there's a handful of people there. And that's all that I can see. Here's my new E-Pass Extra toll transponder. Used it for the first time today. 
coming across the Bob Sykes Bridge over to Pensacola Beach, which is normally a $1 toll. And uh, the signs there say Sun Pass and annual pass holders uh, get into specific lanes. Well, the good thing about the uh, E-Pass Extra, which is part of the Greater Orlando Transit Area, is that the E-Pass Extra will work on just about every toll east of the Mississippi. So if you have a Easy Pass, which is predominant up through uh, New England and the Midwest, or if you have a Peach Pass for Georgia, Sun Pass for Florida, or a E-Pass for the Orlando area, all of that is covered with one transponder, which is called the E-Pass Extra. When I purchased mine a month ago, it was $18.25 for the transponder, and you have an account, and you put, uh, you start off with $10 in your account, but we're going to be taking a trip up to Maine, which uh, is going to be a lot of uh, toll road activity. We're also going back down to the Keys. Off to the right across the Intercoastal Waterway is Naval Air Station Pensacola. So if you're visiting this area, make sure you get over there to go through the Naval National Aviation Museum. It is open to the public. It's free of charge. Go online and check uh, which gate to use, but it's the Blue Angel gate that you can get in if you don't normally have access to military facilities. But Well, we've already came about uh, two miles, a little over two miles from the gate which accesses the Fort Pickens Park. And this building on the right is where you register for camping. So it's uh, easy access, pulling in there. The sign says this is campground registration. Here's campground loop A. So we'll go in here, do what I call a windshield tour, looking at some of the campgrounds. The hookups here are water and 30 amp electricity. There are dump stations provided. There's also uh, designated areas for tent camping. And this loop A has more shade than what you'll see on the other loops. However, it is a little bit tight for big rigs in here. You'll see them. There's a good sized fifth wheel right there. But that had to have been a little bit of a struggle to get that backed in. And from this loop, it's a short walk back across the road that we just came on to get to the beach. Or you could drive over there and there is some parking. Dump station is on the left. Bathhouse as well. And that is the end of Loop A. And at the entrance of Loop A, you have this uh, boardwalk, which will take you out to the beach. Very 
very short walk out to the beach. This is campground loops D, C, D, and E. Four loops in here. And the uh, building right here used to be uh, a little mini mart kind of place to buy supplies. I know it's had significant damage from various hurricanes, and I'm not even sure it's open now, or at least not in the winter time. First thing we're gonna pass going into these loops is the dump station right here. And the facilities will be the same. There's water, 30 amp electric. Each site has a fire ring and a picnic table. The pads are blacktop. And as you can notice on these loops, there is less shade here. Someone sorting through their shell collection. Bathhouse on the right. And there is a laundry room there with a washer and dryer. It still can be a little bit tight on some of these spots for maneuvering. Uh, you don't have the, the trees in the way like you did on loop A. Another bathhouse. Well, here at Fort Pickens is the northern terminus for the Florida National Scenic Trail, or better known as the Florida Trail. It, it goes down to Big Cypress National Preserve, which is 1,300 miles. We've walked a few miles uh, of the Florida Trail over the years. And this part right here is, as you can see, it's, it's uh, gravel, a coral, easy walking. So it changes dramatically through the miles. We walked other parts of it, which uh, was in the water and muddy and all like that. But it's all scenic. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out this video right here. So I appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you get the notices of all my future videos. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.